In this video, I'm going to be talking about Criterion's latest announcements for the month of February 2024. There's lots of exciting things to talk about here, so let's just get straight into it. We have a 4K upgrade coming to the collection on February 6th. It's McCabe and Mrs. Miller, the wonderful Western film from Robert Altman. So this is a 4K upgrade of the same film that was released on a Criterion Blu-ray in 2016, using the same 4K restoration that was used for that Blu-ray. Interestingly enough, there is no high dynamic range listed on Criterion's website for this release, which is sort of unusual given that it is a colour film and perhaps high dynamic range could help in the presentation. There obviously must be a reason for this. I don't know what the reason is. It could be that that 4K restoration is quite old at this point and maybe the restoration was done without HDR in mind because we have seen some 4K discs come without high dynamic range and the results have actually been very good indeed. So it isn't the case that no high dynamic range means a bad disc. That's not the case always. As is standard for Criterion's upgrades, the artwork is exactly the same. The special features are the same carried over. So you get nothing different except for the presentation of the film itself. Even though I love the film, it's one of my favorite uh, revisionist Westerns and has that classic Altman style. I don't actually own the Criterion Blu-ray. I have this HMV UK Blu-ray which I don't actually know how this compares to the Criterion Blu-ray. So it will be interesting to see what this 4K disc looks like and I might be upgrading this to the new 4K. Next up, coming on February 13th, is something I'm personally very excited for. It's a box set. It's Eric Romare's Tales of the Four Seasons. Now, I have been waiting for these to come to Blu-ray for quite a long time because I know that Janus Films acquired the rights to these years and years ago. So these have been on the rumour mill for a long time. You know, we knew that a Criterion disc was coming eventually. The director was known for creating these thematically linked series of films. Criterion have actually already released one of these, this one. Eric Romare's Six Moral Tales, and you may also be able to get your hands on Romare's Comedy and Proverbs series. This was released by Arrow a few years ago. Needless to say, he is a great filmmaker, one of my favourite French filmmakers of all time, so I'm very excited for this set to finally be coming to the Criterion Collection. The set is entering the collection at spy number 1206, and in terms of special features, it actually looks quite light on features. But in this case, the films themselves are the most important thing, so I'm going to be getting this one regardless. Coming on February 20th, spy number 1207 is a set of two films from acclaimed filmmaker Johnny Toe. This is the heroic trio and executioners, two Hong Kong martial arts films that have been rumoured to be coming to Criterion for a very long time, and here they are. Again, I'm very excited for this one because it has a star-studded cast. I've been so impressed with all of the Hong Kong cinema that I've been watching lately. So this sounds right up my street, and I can't wait to see these films. I haven't seen them yet, and this could be a major discovery for me. Oh, I forgot to mention that this is a 4K disc as well as a Blu-ray, which is a real surprise. I did not think this would come to 4K as well, but I'm so happy it is. Looking at the listing on Criterion's website, there is also no high dynamic range listed in the description, which again, looking back at McCabe and Mrs. Miller, perhaps it's just not warranted for these films. Something that could potentially be a bit of a worry is that both of these films are crammed onto one 4K disc, which given putting two feature films on one 4K disc is typically not done in the industry, um, but maybe they're able to make it work. We'll have to see how the disc is authored and encoded. Again, with special features, it looks quite light here. Just two interviews across this whole set and an essay in the booklet. 
Next, at spy number 1209, is the film Nothing But A Man. This is directed by Michael Romer. I do not know much about this film at all. I just had a quick glance at the reviews on Letterboxd and people are talking very highly of this film. And it even says on Criterion's website that this was a film that Malcolm X really admired. So for historical significance, this sounds like a real treat to be coming to Blu-ray. This is from a 4K digital master, although it is just a Blu-ray disc, not a UHD. And in the special features, there's a bunch of interviews and an introduction to the filmmaker. So this seems like one that is going to be a, a bit of a blind buy for me, but I think it could be really enlightening. And then saving perhaps the best to last is the film The Roaring Twenties, directed by Raoul Walsh. This is the very famous film starring James Cagney and Humphrey Bogart, coming not just to Blu-ray, but to 4K UHD, which is a real big surprise for me. I have been wanting to get this film for a very long time. I'm a huge fan of Raoul Walsh. I absolutely love Criterion's release of High Sierra, and the same artist is featuring on Roaring Twenties, so these two will look great next to each other on a shelf. And even more interestingly, this 4K disc will have Dolby Vision HDR, so strangely enough, the 1930s black and white film is the only one to have high dynamic range, which I am all for because some of the brilliant black and white 4K discs that have used HDR have been absolutely mind-blowing. So, I mean, I can't wait to see how this looks on the 4K disc. If you're into crime films, old gangster movies, then this is a no-brainer. You have to get this. And yeah, I just, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. There's an audio commentary and a couple of interviews, so I'm sure that will be great to watch after the film. I know I'm repeating myself, I just can't wait for this one. So, yeah rounds out a brilliant month for Criterion announcements and it looks like 2024 is going to be a brilliant year for physical media. Do let me know your thoughts on these latest announcements. Has anything stuck out to you in particular? Because I'm still digesting all of these and yeah there's going to be a lot to talk about in the future when we finally are able to watch these releases. If you want some Criterion Collection recommendations for me, perhaps to buy during the 50% off sale, then just click the video that's presented on screen right now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.